Okay, so we come bringing gifts. So I'm gonna talk about a project that my team, along with the Megapunks team, have been working on for the past six months. Something that we're very excited about and we hope you guys are gonna like it. Okay. The, uh, the clicker, yeah? There we go. Okay, so um, at the Pizza Ninjas, everything we do, we try to tie to nostalgia. So nostalgia is something that really resonates with us in our community because we think it ties back to culture, it ties to deep emotions, and the word nostalgia actually derives from the Greek words uh, nostos, which means return, and algos, which means pain, meaning literally the suffering evoked by the desire to return to one's place of origin. I thought this quote was really beautiful. And so um, when we were thinking through all of the cool things that we could do with the uh, Bitcoin Oral's technology, we thought a natural fit would be something like a virtual pet. And I don't know about you guys, I grew up in the 90s, I was a 90s kid, and when I was a kid, the Tamagotchi pet, the first virtual pet, was a phenomenon. It, it captivated me, it captivated my friends. In fact, it captivated a whole generation. It was so popular that uh, they had to ban them from schools. And you know, kids would be feeding their virtual pet during the day, and teachers had to take them away just so kids could focus on uh, you know, the class and what was going on. The unfortunate thing that happened, though, was that when the, the teachers took the pets away, they put them in their desk, and the students got them back at the end of the, of the school day. Does anyone know what happened? Mo most of the pets died, okay? And so kids would get their Tamagotchi pet back, and they would look at the screen, and they would see it dead, and they would just cry, okay? I was traumatized by this, and in fact, a whole generation was captivated and traumatized by this experience, and so, we want to give you guys opportunity to relive that experience with Pizza Pets, okay? And so Pizza Pets is the first fully on-chain Tamagotchi style game on Bitcoin. There's no custom indexers. There is no manual uh, anything to the game. It's an immortal game that will live forever on Bitcoin. However, you can only play it one time and your, the outcome of what you do will be eternally recorded. And so we worked with a really incredible, um, oh, and by the way, it's a free airdrop for all you guys. You're all going to get it. So all you need to do is get this Ordinal's passport. We have them in the Ordinal's lounge over there. We're actually going to have a pizza and wine party right after this, like, Ordinal segment. So come join us. We, we'll, we'll have a good time. Sign up for the Ordinal's passport. It's also free, and you're going to get the airdrop after, uh, after this conference, so probably, like, early, early July, okay? And so we worked with an incredible artist. This is what some of the... Uh, the, the pixel art looks like. It's an artist named Megapont. He is, um, he's, a, he's an OG NFT artist on Bitcoin in the, the Stacks ecosystem. He used to work for Apple and Hermes doing pixel art. Incredible talent. I really love how these came out. I think they look really good. Uh, here's, here's some more of them, right? And so these pets have essentially 11 different types, okay? So every single one is gonna be unique. There's like a fire type, a water type, I just love them, I think they look really good. And there's also gonna be six stages of evolution. So when you get it, it's gonna be an egg, and it's going to be, um, then it's gonna evolve into a baby, it's gonna evolve into a child, a teen adult, and eventually an immortal, okay? And so the immortal art looks really sick, and I didn't, I didn't wanna share it here because it's that good. So I hope that when you finally see it, you'll really like it. And um, the reason the last one is called an immortal is because most of these are gonna die, okay? And so, we have, a we're the, we're, we have the first mechanism where, on Bitcoin where if you don't care for your pet, you don't feed it, it will actually be removed from the collection, okay? It'll be turned into a prized um, collectible into a mere memento. So it's gonna be fun, you're gonna be traumatized, you're gonna relive that experience as a kid, and I hope you're gonna like it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, um, so to help you avoid your pet dying, I want to walk you through, for the first time actually publicly sharing how the game, how you play the game, how it works, and, and what, what you can do. And so, um, basically, your pet is going to have, um, it's going to have a, a, health, a health level. It'll have several hearts on the top of it. And every Bitcoin block that goes past, the health is going to go down a little bit. And so, in order to restore your pet's health, you're going to need to feed it. And of course, pizza pets eat pizza. So you're going to inscribe a pizza emoji um, with your pet, and that will restore its health. Now, of course, 
it's not a virtual pet unless it also has the ability to poop. Okay, and so your pet will have a random chance of pooping and you're gonna need to inscribe a shower emoji in order to clean your pet. And if you don't do that, then your pet's health will go down faster and um, that's gonna be bad, okay? Now in addition, there are actually uh, several other items that you can use, several other things that you can do to help you play the game based on whatever strategy you wanna do. You have many choices and your choices are going to matter. Okay, and so here, here are some of them. So you can uh, feed your pet coffee. If you give your pet coffee, it's going to be less hungry, but it's gonna poop more, okay? And so, um, you know, of course this game is inspired by Tamagotchi, but actually it's not a game for kids, it's a game for adults. There's real money at stake in NFTs. But in addition, this game is rated M for mature, okay? And so when it comes to feeding your pet, there's some more options, okay? So you can give your pet steroids, okay? And when you give your pet steroids, it will evolve two times faster, but it'll be two times more hungry. And it won't poop anymore, okay? You can also give your pet marijuana, okay? When you give your pet marijuana, when you give your pet marijuana, oh wow, okay. When you give your pet marijuana, it will, um, its health will decline more slowly, but it will also evolve more slowly, okay? Now, the interesting thing is that if you stack together marijuana and steroids, they will cancel each other out. However, it won't poop anymore, okay? So that is the alpha for all of you guys, okay? Yep, so, st so steroids. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Let's go. Okay. Oh, don't share this. Okay. All right. So if you if you give your pet steroids, it will be two times more hungry, but it'll evolve two times faster and it won't poop. Yes. If you feed your pet marijuana, its health will decline more slowly, but it will evolve more slowly. So this will be canceled out if you if you include this with the steroids, but the benefit is that it won't poop anymore. Yes. Yes, I mean, there's no emoji for marijuana, so. But actually, someone on my team, I won't say who, said there were better emojis for this. Okay. So, you can also give your pet cocaine. And cocaine <laughs> will allow your pet to not have to eat anymore. However, it adds a random chance of instant death. Uh, while this status effect is live. You can also give your pet LSD. So LSD will cause your pet to realize that life is a game and it will pause the game because it chooses not to participate. Okay. Finally, you can uh, inscribe milk and milk will cancel out these status effects to reset the, the pet. Okay. There's also a couple of one-time items that will have a one-time effect so feeding your pet pizza will only increase its, its life by one heart. And so um, we want to make this game very easy for people to play. You know, we all, that's beer, yeah. But I'm, I'm, give me a second. So when it has, uh, when you feed a pizza, that restores one health. But um, the issue is that every time it evolves, it gets another heart. So, you know, you don't have to take care of it as much as you, as you raise it. You have to take care of the babies more frequently. But as it, um, and so to help you guys save time, we gave it other food that you can give it, such as beer, which will restore two hearts, but there's a higher chance that it will poop, okay? So that's a trade-off that you make. In addition, wine and cheese uh, restores more health, higher chance of pooping, and the, high, the most health, a martini and a steak, and the highest chance of pooping. And the final items, you can give your pet DMT. DMT will give it a 50% chance of dying or evolving immediately. Ketamine, ketamine will actually change the traits of your pet with a small chance of instant death. So you can change from a fire type to a water type if you want with a chance of random death. And of course, the final one is ecstasy. So this will actually evolve your pet in reverse. So it will evolve from a child to a baby, from a teenager to a child, et cetera, which is going to help you in some situations. So there's other aspects of this game that we haven't shared yet, but I hope this was a brief introduction. You're all gonna get it. We've worked tremendously hard on this. For those of you, I hope that's gonna be some of your first ordinals. 
Make sure that you go to the Ordinals Lounge, get the passport, join us for the uh, wine and beer, and I'm excited to play this game with all of you. Thank you very much.